My name is Steve Young and uh, welcome to another video where we aim to answer some of the more frequently asked questions. So today is a follow-on video. Uh, we're following on from our previous video about guarding. So today we're looking at auto guarding. So this this takes away some of the uh, the effort because it's automatic. So let's take a look at what we're, we're talking about. So this device here, U8, we take a look at the properties and we see that it's uh, a 74 245 device is the transceiver with the tri-state so this means that uh, it can pass data both directions A to B and B to A and it also has a tri-state function which puts the outputs and the inputs into uh, a tri-state condition uh, and this usually signifies that there may be some guarding issues while you're trying to test it so auto guarding only works if you have a full netlist attached to this board uh, a netlist can be created using our NetGen feature. Uh, there will be a short video on that coming up soon. Or if you're fortunate enough to have a uh, NetGen from a uh, software package, you can import that um, into your uh, PCB and it looks a little like this. If you click the Net tab here, you'll see all the connections to U8. Um, so there's plenty of connections. And to guard on these issues, we simply click the guard tab and if there's no netlist available uh, this auto guard will be greyed out and you, you won't be able to accidentally use it but in this case we simply click auto guard and it prompts us with two connections that will need to be guarded while we're testing U8 uh, there'll be a guard to U9 and there'll be a guard to U7 so um, so where do these come from? Where, where do we find these automatic guards? So if we take a look at our a library, we go down to our a libraries tab. Here's the library for the 74245 device. And we see these commands down, down here called def ag. Uh, def ag stands for define auto guard. And this simply highlights like the ng pin that needs to go high and the the pin definitions in the brackets are the pins affected by that pin going high. You just simply add the corresponding commands and if you need to look up how they go, how they work, you simply highlight uh, the def ag command because it's in red and it's a keyword and you simply hit F1 on our keyboard and this pops up our help file and we click the def ag and def ag will, will give you an example in the help file how to use it. And also there's a link here to guarding. So if you need to know more about guarding, uh, there's an article on uh, the theory of guarding as well. So it's as simple as that. That's auto guarding explained. Thank you for watching. I hope that answers your uh, question uh, about auto guarding. Uh, and watch this space for um, a video explaining about creating NetGen later. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.